What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're gonna be going over the new update. Now, if you guys don't know, I just got done streaming. Um, what I'm going to start doing is streaming the live update. I'm gonna be streaming the whole thing, whole thing through, so about an hour, hour and a half of the update and everything coming out and stuff. And then, after that, I'm gonna private the stream, and then I'm gonna make an update video for the guys that were asleep, have school, etc., etc. Couldn't get, couldn't, you know, go to my stream so i got i got y'all too i got y'all too don't worry about it so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing from now on i uh, hope you guys like that system that way people can get the live updates with me talking to me asking me questions i talk to you guys and then the people that didn't get to do that still get the update because i know a lot of people don't do updates but anyways so starting off we have gaiden atachi right here who his art looks his art looks really really good i i very much enjoy his art right um now it i'm assuming this itachi is before mangekyo sharingan and i'll get into that a little bit later why i think that right so um yeah going on we have a blazing bash minato right here's his five star art his six star art and his seven star art and also if you guys don't know his um his stuff moves right so yeah there's there's that now some people may be wondering um hey dark skin usually when blazing bash drop don't they drop with two units i'm glad you asked um this Ata atachi this minato is a blazing bash unit 100 percent he's gonna be on a banner but if you guys remember it is december now last year in december they dropped a blazing bash the, the, pretty much end of the year blazing bash summon it was hashirama he was on his own banner right there was no other like new unit on the banner but hashirama right and there was a couple other feature units but he was the main unit right now also a couple days later or you know a little bit later we got the new year's blazing bash for january so pretty much hashirama and madara had their own separate banners so the end of the year banner and then the new year's banner so minato is going to be the end of the year blazing bash and then a little bit later we're going to be having a new year's blazing bash banner which um i have some speculation on who i think it's going to be or what i think it's going to be um i'm going to make some videos over that in the next couple of days so stay tuned that probably tomorrow maybe the day after that but stay tuned for that because i will be dropping that i will be giving you guys some information on that so stay tuned um moving on um, Atachi is a body unit. Uh, he's a free unit, which I really like. I like a lot because body team, y'all already know. Uh, Minato is a wisdom unit, and let me tell you, Minato is a little, a little busted. Here's their jutsus right here. You guys can see. Atachi Phoenix Flyer Jutsu is his first jutsu. His ultimate is literally Kunai Bombs. That's it. Minato's first jutsu is pretty cool. Teleports behind him, Rasengan. His uh, Blazing Awoken Jutsu is Jinku Sipu Senko Renandan Zero Shiki. And then his ultimate, he Rasengan's you up, Rasengan's you down. Nothing crazy. Now, the reason why I think Atachi, this isn't Mangekyo Sharingan Atachi, is because some people were saying, why didn't he use Sukuyomi, yada, yada, yada. Well, if this was regular Atachi, if this was like non-Mangekyo Sharingan Itachi, he doesn't have Tsukiyomi. So I feel like this is like brand new Anbu Black Ops. Don't have Mangekyo Sharingan Itachi. Shisui's alive Itachi. I feel like that's who that is. So yeah, that's just why I think that. Now, let's go ahead and get into their stats and everything. So Itachi, 60 calls, which will go down to 30 because he is free. Uh, body type, 1500 attack. I mean, 1,500 HP, 2,200 attack, short range. Pretty good stats, even though short range, I wish he was mid-range at least. Uh, his field skills kind of butt cheeks. Reduces chance of attack reduction, 30, 35, whatever. Um, his buddy skill, though. Boost attack of body units by 300. That is amazing. So, yeah, that's, that's really good. Um, Jutsu, 5 chakra, 3 times attack and body damage to all enemies in range. 40% chance of slip damage for 8 turns, which is kind of, eh, you know. 
Uh, ultimate Jutsu Ten Chakra. Eight times attack and bite damage to one enemy in range. Seventy percent chance of slip damage and or attack reduction for five turns. So, uh, Jutsu Ultimate Jutsu pretty mediocre. Nothing crazy. Whatever. Thirty-two thousand HP. Forty-four hundred attack. One fifty-two speed. Bad. Just not good. Okay. Now boost attack by two hundred. Twenty-four hundred attack stat now. Um, reduce chance of chakra reduction by 25-25, so 50. 20% 20 chance to use zero chakra on his ultimate, which I don't know why his ultimate single target, but whatever. And then nullify type disadvantage, which is really good because you do neutral damage to everybody. Sync with body, restore 50 HP, sync with leaf, boost attack by 100. That And that's Itachi. He's, he's, he's alright, nothing crazy, but he's free, so I can't really complain. Now let's get into this monstrous destruction like bruh 56 cost so if you got if he's max duped he's 28 cost by the way let you guys know uh wisdom damage 1700 hp 1500 attack long range 20 to 25 percent chance of dodging an attack which is good because he's long range right buddy skill reduces chance of mobilized by 40 that's really good because the amount of mobilization going on is like big so 3-6 chakra guys he's 3-6 chakra five times attack and wisdom damage to one enemy in range knocks a back does 8.5 times attack if their hp recovery sealed that's kind of useless then ultimate six chakra 16 times attack wisdom damage 80 percent chance of hp recovery sealing for six turns 60 percent chance of attack reduction for four turns okay uh we're not going to get into his pvp stats because this is the pve form but he has a 45% chance to dodge, 6 times crit rate, sync with wisdom, nullify mobilization, sync with leaf, nullify switch ceiling. So, pretty alright. You know, nothing crazy. But this, this nigga right here, dumb. Field buddy skill the same, right? We're not going to look at the PvE, we're going to look at the PvP, right? So, 38,000 HP, 22,000 attack stat. 353 speed so max speed 383 and that's before you get somebody behind you put a sasuke behind him and he's at 393 speed guys that's actually insane so 36 chakra like i said but this is where it gets dumb seven times attack and wisdom damage to one enemy 80 percent chance of attack reduction for three turns 70 percent chance of switch ceiling for three turns 60% chance of chakra re recovery ceiling for two turns. This nigga is hitting you with so many status ailments. You're not going to know what to do. Okay. Ultimate Jutsu. Six chakra. 16 times attack and wisdom damage to one enemy in range. Reduces their chakra by two. And moves them back on the speed gauge. Like, guys. Bruh. This is getting out of hand. It really is. And it, oh, oh, by all means, it doesn't stop there. Reduces bravery, uh, reduces damage from bravery units, 40%. Reduces damage from wisdom damage. Reduces damage from wisdom enemies, 40%. New ability, nullifies chakra reduction field effect. So, um, like the field, the status, like the status effects that's on the map and stuff that gives you chakra reduction doesn't happen for him right and and that's not even the worst part boost damage against bravery enemies 40 percent boost damage against wisdom enemies 40 percent he's going to be hitting bravery units so hard right you're going to be thinking wisdom blazing fest minato is a joke now nah, I'm, I'm pretty sure blazing fest minato hits harder but it's it's like bro this man's going to be one shot in people and like I said, sync skills. Nullifies immobilization. Nullifies switch ceiling. So he practically is just going to be insanely stupid. And this is the, the part, the thing about it is, this is part one of two. We're still going to be getting another unit at the beginning of next year. On December 31st, January 1st, whatever. I mean, at this point, hey. Look, and I know some people said, should you summon stuff? I'm going to make videos over that, going more in depth on why you should or shouldn't or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the update. New Minato, new Itachi. 
Uh, I do need to make a video talking about the trend that is being set right now. So I do need to get on that also. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.